Welcome, welcome to the Photo Talk Show. My name is Romeo Versace Giovanni. And I am Alexandre Leiton. And have we got a show for you. That's right. Today's a special day. We have the highly acclaimed photographer Vinny Hagoni with Eye Candy Imagery. And we are so excited to have him here. Oh, so excited. It's going to be a great one. So, uh, Rome, can you believe you already have reached over 700 subscribers after our first ever show? I know. It's, it's crazy. It's insane. And we just want to thank all the viewers and subscribers for making this truly an exciting adventure for us. And seeing people actually like what we are doing is super exciting. And wait, don't we have a sponsor now? Won't you let everyone know about the sponsor? <laughs> sure. Let's do this. All right. Uh, this episode will be brought to you by Elixir Software, creator of Satellite. Satellite is a revolutionary pre-visualization software that allows you to set up and use a multitude of equipment from strobes to set design to allow photographers, videographers, set designers, and more to collaborate and prep for their productions. They are currently offering a 30-day free trial right now, so you can test out the product. And Satellite it has a community that is currently in beta and is an amazing feature of like-minded visionaries that provide already pre-made setups for certain visions that you may have, and then you can modify them to your liking. With satellite, you can regulate the output of your lights, add a specific type of lights like speed lights, define the space you are working in, use lampshades, screens, reflectors, and more. This software allows for you to change your light modifiers, type of cameras and lenses, adjust zoom, stops, and ISO. And even allows for a modeling light. So join thousands of visionaries and boost levels of your team's production efforts by getting your hands on Satellite Revolutionary Software today, the link is in the description. All right. That was and pretty good. That's it. So, uh, let's see. So, today we have Vinny Vergone. Yeah, I was I'm so excited about it because I, I practically wait all the week just to ask him a few questions. Oh, I know. And we got so many people wanting to ask questions, too. And then we have next week... We have a COVID issue that we're going to be talking about. We have Are we going to have any guests? We got a nurse and a physician that's going to be on the show to help oh. talk about the COVID and how photographers can protect themselves also with uh, models. And, and the nurse... I heard the nurse is a model. Yeah, she's a yeah. model. So she knows exactly what's going on. And it's going to be an interesting time. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, uh, it's fulfilled with relevant information on how to protect yourself and how to yep. work without taking risks, you know, taking chances. I mean, there's always a risk, but to minimize that risk is really the most important part. Yeah. So I guess let's get started with Vinny because I know that's what everybody's waiting on. Okay, so let's bring <laughs> Vinny. And that's it. Welcome, Vinny. Man, you guys made me look good. We always <laughs> gonna make you look good, bud. Yeah, whatever, man. I so just, all I do is all I do is press a button. That's it. So <laughs> you're out at Bike Week, right? Yeah, um, I was uh, certainly blessed to be asked to come to do some uh, event photography here, at wow. Daytona, Florida. Pretty cool. That's awesome. And, and Jolie's with you too, right? Yes. Yeah. Wow. She's, you got to get some good up. shots. Yeah, man. She's easy to work with for sure. Okay. So let's see. Go ahead. Uh, okay. I will start this, okay, if you don't mind. I just want you to tell us and tell our viewers how you started your photography journey. Can you tell us about how was the beginning, when you started? Okay. So that's easy. I um, Well, first of all, it's good to meet you, by the way, and I love your work. It's oh. super awesome. Thank, Thank you, you for inviting me to be a part of this. 
Anytime, um, man. Yeah, I, uh, I guess I started years ago. You know, I always had a camera in my hand. I always had a knack for wanting to capture. I, I don't know. You know, like when you're, I used to, you know, just shoot with little, you know, uh, film cameras, little cheap, little disposable ones, drop them off, have them develop when pictures, you know, things like that, you know. And it was always funny to see what you get back because, you know, there was never a viewfinder, you know, yeah. there was no digital display, right? So you never knew, right? So then you like, you get it, you get it developed and you, you're like, all right, well, I needed to be further back because the stock flash, you can't adjust anything and you don't know, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I know. so like you literally, if you can get good pictures with that stuff, which I don't even remember going back, you know, but I would always remember, oh, yeah, that picture was real too, too white. So the next time I shoot it, with about, the, you know, this far away at about this brightness, I need to make sure I'm this far back. I don't know. So <laughs> that was it, you know? And then, I don't know, just always grew up in, um, like, custom vehicles. Loved, mm-hmm. like, um, yep. like low rider tr- tr- trucks that drag the ground, and, you know, and just uh, cars and uh, custom vehicles. So I was always around car shows. And then my buddies and I used to have cool trucks and, you know, I don't know, just take pictures of them and things like that. And then... I don't know. I always, I don't know, took pictures at bikini contests. <laughs> it was, it's, I don't know, just always did it. And um, I guess one year I was at a, an event, a, a truck show, and um, my fiance, uh, she was my girlfriend at the time. Uh, we were, uh, she had been doing some, you know, just random modeling, nothing crazy or anything like that. She had a bikini with her. And she decided to do the bikini contest at this truck show. And I had my little, a little camera with me and it wasn't a big deal or whatever. Do you remember which camera was it? It was a Nikon D, uh, uh, D5300. 5300? Yeah. Crop sensor camera. It's probably like had a kit, kit lens on it or whatever. I don't even remember. And uh, I don't know. Just she was encouraged to do the bikini contest by a friend of ours that's a really good friend now. Uh, her name is Shauna, and she is just fantastically amazing. Um, if you uh, follow her on Instagram, she's Miss or Ms. Lee. Um, she's an amazing model. Um, she's got an amazing husband. His name's Billy. And uh, we just got back from Las Vegas, but Sean, uh, we went to their house to visit them. But Shauna, who we didn't know we were going to meet at the time, she was just a girl that was going to be in the bikini contest that befriended my fiance. She befriended her, was real nice to her, because a lot of those girls sometimes can't aren't, aren't always so nice. Right. She said that, you know, I really see um, some some humbleness about Jolene. I really want to help you. And uh, she took her, you know, and they got, I think she got third place. Jolene got third place at that event. Wow. And uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, Shauna was just remained in her life and just started to um, mentor her a bit, you know, about modeling and about different right. bikinis and things like that. And I didn't realize this. I didn't know. I, I had no idea that I was going to start taking pictures, like really doing a decent job, you know. And then, I don't know, she just started to grow with, uh, like, she had a couple people make her some bikinis. And she started winning bikini contests locally. And I don't know. We were at this bikini contest one time. And this is a really cool story. Um, I'm going to, this is pretty crazy. I was shooting... Um, like with a, I don't even remember if I had the stock flash that's built into the camera, um, and, and like just a little zoom lens or something at a bikini contest. And there was this guy that I was, he looked like he was kind of official, you know, he had like, like a bigger flash than me or something, you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything looked had, bigger had like back then. Lo- like it's always, lens it's always yeah, like, it's always like that when we start. We just see the other guy with a bunch yeah. of gear and they say, this guy is the official photographer. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and little did I know, but this guy was going to be a little bit of my life. It was pretty cool, cool dude. His name is Trace Crisp. And he's oh, a Crisp. Trace Crisp Photography. Yeah. He's out of Tampa. And uh, he's a good guy. Mm-hmm. And he just like, uh, he was real nice to me. I was like bumping around and like trying to take pictures, and, like seeing like what he was doing kind of thing. And I asked him some questions and I think I was shooting manual or uh, automatic, automatic settings. I don't honestly, it was like so, so new. And I don't know. He just, she didn't really just kind of like kept watching him, you know, a little bit here and there and this, that and the other. And then we took some, there were some girls. He's like, yeah, come around backstage. Let's take a few pictures of these girls in bikinis on like a little backdrop or something. I was like, all right, cool. So, 
it was crazy. He was shooting the pictures, right? And then I started to say things about posing. I was like, hey, you know, like make her move her, her leg this way or, you know, don't angle her knee right at the camera. Make sure you make the knee go to the right a little bit so it's not facing the camera. <laughs> turn, turn her chin this way and put her chin down just a little bit. And now I didn't know how to take a picture, but I knew how to pose <laughs> them a little bit or I learned a little bit, you know? Well, that's like the hardest that. part. Yeah, he's yeah. like, he's like, man, that's really crazy that you, you know, like, I was like, I don't know, man, I just look weird, you know, I don't know, it looks better like this, or I, I don't know. And then, so it's funny that we just, you know, kind of like stayed in touch a little bit. Um, I don't know. Uh, that contest, I think Jolene got second or third place at that one, whatever. We, we, uh, it was, it was a good one and just good networking. And after a while, this, I started shooting and like, I did a shoot with Jolene and then a couple of her friends wanted little boudoir stuff, like little things for their boyfriends. So right. I got a 50 millimeter, uh, 1.4 Nikon lens for a Nikon, um, 50 millimeter, uh, 1.4. So it was a, mm -hmm. you know, six, $700 for this lens, man. I only paid $600 for the, the whole camera and I'm going to pay $600, <laughs> $600 for a lens. This is what I'm thinking. Little did I know now I'll have, three or 4,000 in one lens, you know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Exactly. But, yeah, but yeah. now, you know, now, now I'm just, like I said, this is, you know, only probably four years ago that I was this, you know, in this situation, four or five years ago is when this happened, you know? Mm -hmm. And like I said, I got this 50 millimeter 1.4 lens and I, I learned about Boca, right? I learned about <laughs> on how more available light with a, you know, focus point, you're, you're sh you know, really close you'll, you'll be able to make a lot of blur in the background. Then I thought that right. 1.4 was so cool, but if you're shooting a girl's face, her eyelash could be out of focus from one line <laughs> to the other, <laughs> you know, but I thought, you had to I learn thought, that wow, depth of field. Yeah. 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 But I thought, you know, I thought it was so cool to have the blur because the, the blur worst part is that we always learned that the hard way because we take the picture and this only when you get to the computer, you see, you got one eye in focus and the other one out of focus because <laughs> Right, but it still looks cool though. It doesn't matter oh, yeah. Yeah. because you got a portion of the picture that's in focus. So nobody knows really what you were trying to do. Doesn't matter. At the end that's of the day, you, you created something with eyelashes looks really cool if you take a shot real close on the face and you got two or three lashes in focus, but then the tip of her nose is blurry, you know, and you don't know what else is out past that. Man, that's that's like enticing, <laughs> right? That's yep. that's what we're wanting to see, right? So that's it's true. It's trying to keep people on the edge. That's what Boca does for me, you know, and I. I thought that that's what separated the a photographer from like a just uh, anybody that could take a picture. If everything in the image is sharp, then what are you focusing on? It's just a general shot. So I never, I never wanted anything to be in focus other than my subject, of course, you know. And that's what I started to learn about depth of field. And mm -hmm. depth of field is still is crazy to understand. And I don't think everybody can completely grasp it, but right. like. I can't get the same effect shooting with a 50 millimeter lens as I can with a, my 70 to 200 on a. If I can oh, no. shoot a, what, what's that that? Comp the compression is going to make a big difference. I, I it's just unbelievable. Like once yeah. you get, once you start messing around with that and that the compression, like it, it it blows your mind. I will try to shoot with my 70 to 200 inside of a bedroom in a house if I can. I will. <laughs> yeah, I'm right yeah. there with you. You know that. I mean, I can't get. I can't take it off my camera. I just bought a 24 to 70. So I, I've been wait. I, you know, I waited four years or five years now to get, to get that lens. Right. Um, and I, I just spent two grand on this thing. Like wasn't no big deal. You know, I got the 70 or I'm sorry, the 24 to 70 F 2.8 Nikon lens with the VR coated. I'm sorry, the VR two with the fluoride coated glass. It's a super sharp lens. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But again, me shooting, I guess that wide, I, I don't, know if i like the images yet like i did with the 70 to 200 Do you understand what i'm uh, saying oh, yeah. when you get when you get the feel for a 70 to 200 for for a long lens you just cannot it's hard for you to come back i i, I get myself always going uh, uh every time i have space of course uh going over 150 108 200 going to 200 millimeters because exactly because of the compression and how the background mm -hmm. gets yeah i mean the book the book is stupid amazing you know and like i don't know but i see guys shooting with 35 millimeter 1.4 lenses everywhere these new so sony's yep. they're shooting like i don't understand that i can't understand how sharp the image can be at 1.4 i can't do that with my camera yeah i don't know if you've had that issue but i i you know if, if I, well you know you know how it is most of them crop it afterwards yeah no i know but it's still yeah. like 
there's a those I don't know. I, I definitely think it. I don't know. We could talk. I don't know if we're allowed to talk about that, but man, that's the <laughs> the new mirrorless cameras. I don't know what everybody's shooting with, but I shoot with a. I got the but, EOS R, and I'm loving it. Yeah. See, I, I I'm I'll probably go to the Z7 or the Z6, the Nikon. I'll stay with Nikon yeah. so I can use all my lenses. But um, I I love the D850 that I have now. I I don't know. It's a great camera. I can't get over it. But they. I know I'm going to have to teach myself something different and get on the mirrorless trend, you know? <laughs> Actually, it's not it's not much different. Um, I, in fact... Uh, yeah, but this thing only... of eye detection is amazing. Oh, yeah. That's what that's the reason why I want to make 100%. a switch, man. I, 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 I'm a slow shooter, and everybody... I don't know anybody <laughs> that's shot with me before. Like, sometimes I'm like, you know, I do things a couple times because, I, you know, I, I didn't get as nice of a focus point on the eye that I wanted, and I shoot it again, and... Um, these guys aren't having to focus. I'm like, you got to be kidding me, man. That would be yep. so easy to shoot if you don't have to freaking You just focus, point it. You, know? you just and point that, it and click it. That's I why know, I'm loving man, the I'm EOS R. Shot. You know, like I'm, I'm having to find the eye, yep. lock the focus point, shoot. Find the eye, lock the focus point, shoot. You know? <laughs> the that's old right. school way. That's our old school way. So I can create the frame that I want, lock the focus point, then I frame the image the way I want, then I take the picture. I mean, right. It's just that's how I that's how I shoot, but I could not imagine just being able to press one button, not worry about locking the focus. Wow, that's so easy, you know. And, it's, think, it, and it works flawless, which is great. I know. I had a buddy of mine at a, at a shoot event, uh, Models and Mansions. These guys are awesome. Yeah. They uh, uh, they hosted an event, and there was a couple guys there. I God, I can't. His name was Mike, I believe. Mike, he had this Mike something. Uh, Mike something. I don't know what his. Uh, I don't remember his Instagram. Sorry, Mike. But uh, shout out to that dude. He, he basically showed me. He's like, bro, check this out, man. And like, I think he had an 85 millimeter. And like, he's like, have Jolene run at you and hold the trigger down. And this is like ISO 700. I don't know. I can't remember what the shutter speed was, but it was like a moderate light in a room. No, nothing crazy. Like, and he, it was just, she spun around in a circle running towards me. And it captured every shot when on in tack sharp, you know, like, I don't know, 15 frames a second or something like that. I, I was blown away on how there was no, you know, obviously if she was going left or right, not coming towards me, you wouldn't have to change the focus point for, for the most part. You'd be at some, that plane would be in focus, but her coming right. towards me, it's refocusing all the time. And I'm all being sharp that fast. That's unbelievable. You know what I mean? I think one month ago, uh, uh, a friend of mine came from Rio de Janeiro to Sao Paulo, a friend called Sandro, uh, uh, Rome knows the guy. And he brought his Sony A7 III. I think I shot like three pictures with it. Yeah, but that's what it's amazing how you just uh, how you just turn it, and as soon as you point to a face, it locked in the eye. Yep. it's too fast. And how, does that, it work, how does it work if there's multiple subjects? Let's say if there's five subjects that the depth of field changes on. How does it oh, focus? It's, on? it's I, I whoever's do. the closest. How do you want? If you don't want to focus on the person that's closest, and you want to focus on the middle or the or the, the fourth person, how do you do that? Then you're gonna to have to go into manual. You, how do you make? Is there a way to switch that? I'm sure those guys know how to do it quick if they want to focus on a different focus point, right? Yeah, oh yeah, like, you switch your line of focus. If, if you were shooting a model in lingerie on the bed, and you know, mm -hmm. like say uh, she's crawling towards you, and you got her face in focus, and you wanted to quickly change to like I don't know her lower back or something like that, how right. would you do that with those mirrorless cameras like that? That's a good question. Uh, this friend of mine, he does... Uh, you can oh, tap the screen, I believe. Luis is telling me here. Uh, I believe you could actually tap the screen and it overrides it. Yeah, and then yeah, yes. you're able to selectively do your point with your thumb. At least yeah, on the it, Canon, I know. Uh, it's, exactly, it's exactly what Luis is saying here. You can just tap the screen it to override the focus mode and oh, yeah, there a single is. point. So. so, yeah. Yeah, hmm. your thumb on the... The side, I know on Canon, I don't know about Nikon. Uh, the Canon on the side of the screen, the right side where your hand is, uh -huh. the actual screen will override and you could slide your thumb around and it'll focus wherever you're sliding the, the pointer. But to be honest, I think the thing that got me more crazy about those mirrorless are not even the focus points, is the EVF. Yeah, that the EVS is, viewfinder, oh, that that thing amazing. is amazing. Yes. Oh yeah, so you can see the you can see what the actual image is like creating the Before ISO or you and shoot that. it. And I have to take a picture to see that. Then I make adjustments in my mind. And then then I shoot like I I know like if I'm shooting with I don't know, you know how it goes if you're like this this afternoon I was shooting at 
probably like an ISO of 25 or 30 with the sun going down. And uh-huh. uh, my strobes were at one over one or, or yeah, one over two. I'm sorry. Real high powered. And I was I got like an incredible look, you know. Uh, but I, yep. you know, I, I couldn't, I, I guess it's just something different. I, I'm sorry to talk your ear off with it that. Is. It's that no, you know, that's cool. The change of the, the mirrorless is going to be a challenge for me, but I know I want to go, especially for video. I, I feel like it's really cool. Uh, you know, the mirrorless technology with, with video is freaking unbelievable, you know? Uh-huh. So. Well, uh, thank you, Luis. Uh, oh, Luis, where, where are you from? If everybody who's watching us can drop a comment, just telling us where are you watching us from? We'll be cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm watching you guys from beautiful Daytona Beach, Florida, bro. Amazing. <laughs> I'm from Alabama. I'm Roll locked time. inside Sao Paulo. <laughs> Where are you at, Alexander? I'm at Sao Paulo, Brazil. Brazil. Como vai yeah. você? Oh, português. Yeah, tudo bem. Tudo bom. <laughs> <laughs> Não That's acredito, all got, man. I'm all, That's all my Brazilian. It's, it's enough all to all make to make me happy. It's enough, <laughs> and you call my language by the name is Portuguese. No one call Portuguese. it Portuguese. <laughs> no, no, it's so funny. I, I mean, I used to sell bottled water. That was my first job at Universal Studios when I was 16 years old, and uh, I used That's to get a long these Brazilian. Time ago. Yeah, man, you used to get these Brazilian tortures. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah sure do. Flag, you know, there's like a whole bunch of them, and they're all in a pack, and they <laughs> run around the park all day long, and these like real cute Brazilian girls, right? You know, that are just ridiculously tan and always yep. perfect. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, yep. I used to always remember them. Uh, just como vai você? Como vai você? And then it would always say tutu ban, tutu ban, and it was a uh, <laughs> yeah, man. So that's that's all I remember. I never could remember more than that. But it's but. it's a really good Portuguese, you know. It's a really good Portuguese. Oh, well, thank you very much. I wish I had more for you, sir. <laughs> and now, now, Alabama, now that Alabama, that's real hard accent to come up with out there. You know what I mean, up down there? Technically, okay. Louisiana, Alabama. <laughs> We have Luis from Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix. What's up, Louis? Oh. Let's get some questions going here, guys. Come on, I want to yep. some And questions. So we have uh, Angel Fort that Wayne, is from Indiana. Fort Wayne. Yeah, uh, let me put the banner here. So if you have questions for Vinny, just leave it in the comments, leave it in the, leave it in the chat box, uh, and we will make the questions live. Rome, so I know, your turn. I know one of the questions that all the beginners and intermediates are asking is, how do you visualize your shots? Uh, what, what is Vinny's method to try to figure out what he wants? So I always want to underexpose the background and slightly overexpose the model or get her right in a, a perfect exposure where she's just glistening. Very so I, I, that's my thing. I'm never, I'm never exposing everything evenly. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I uh, and if I, sh- I shoot with lights, I like to shoot with strobes because I don't know, like lately I'm trying to get, you know, the light to light the model. And then I'll use a light off to the side to get like a couple stops, less power. Like a and red light. Like, yeah. Um, or I'll shoot, you know, even on, sometimes I use them even, but I'll just move them distances apart so that I don't, I get a little contrast. And sometimes I, lately right. there are some stuff I have on my Instagram that I feel like I blew the highlights out a little bit, it, but it still looks really cool. There's, if you look at the, I don't know if they, if they brought it up and looked at it. It's pretty cool. You could see like, um, there's an image that I did with a girl. Her name is Mitra and I did it in Orlando, Florida and downtown. And, um, it was dark at night. I put a light behind her and I had one light in front of her. And I just think it turned out really cool, but I think it was a little, uh, I should have had the light more to the left so I can get more contrast in wrap in the muscle and see more definition rather than it blasting straight on where you don't get shadows coming across the, the body part that you're shooting at. You know, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. I know exactly Sorry. what you're saying. I'm rambling on guys. No, I'm, I'm actually looking to see which image was that. Yeah, we um, are. It looks like me and Rome are doing the same thing. The same thing. Oh, okay, cool. yeah, we are just um, unwrapping your Instagram and putting so it on the screen. Eight, it's right. like maybe six posts ago or 18 posts ago. So total, because like, I post in threes. Right. If you look, it's like um, she's got a, 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 checkered, a checkered one piece on. And it's a primarily a black background. You can see some road signs behind her head. Yeah, I see it. Uh, yeah, if you look see. at those series of images, I think there's eight or nine images there between those three posts. I think it looks really cool, but one might might say that the shadow or that there's not enough, you know, contour or whatever. And I, I that was some constructive criticism that somebody came 
uh, out and showed me. Yeah, right so there. right in the screen room. Yeah, yeah right, right there, there in the middle. So. Oh, you got a video. Oh, that's a video. <laughs> so you're saying you think your highlights are too hot? I don't know. I mean, it's a little hot, but I, I like that look, right? So an extra I don't think it's light. hot. I don't think it's hot. I, don't, I think it's so, cool. It's not there's hot. There's a couple. So, so look at the, the one of uh, her, her back side. Let's see if you go to the uh, – keep scrolling to the right. I don't know. Let's see. Wow. Oh. Keep going. Oh, yeah, that's the it's it's the one in that video. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Go to that. Click on that video real quick. No, not the, there, there you go. Yeah, that one. Oh, look at that. Rome helped me do that. Thanks, bud. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, this was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I I always like so like. If, Anybody that's like listening or whatever, I always look for stuff where I can do reflections too. You know, yep. this image, I got three images out. I got the reflection and then I got the cropped image. Um, this one here I thought was slightly overexposed on the shadows. I don't know. Uh, but I like, I like the image. Right there looks better when it's cropped in. I didn't like it as much full, but I'm just trying to. But you see, there's a light directly behind her and one in front of her. So you get right. that radiant glow. You guys got to start trying that. I, I absolutely the rim light. love it. <laughs> That's yeah, practically yeah, I'm, I'm my signature. So like right there, I, I edited out the stand in that picture because the stand sure. is right in between her legs. But sure. there's only that, that glow around her hair. And if you look at the peach fuzz on her arm and all that detail, I love that by having that light behind somebody. Right. So that's a new thing that I'm really, really trying to focus on. I just think it creates crazy, crazy dimension. So, Brian, uh, I agree. thanks for the compliment. Brian is complimenting the show. He's trying. He's new to the craft. He's well, trying to take it all. He's from Rhode Island. All right. Brian, Rhode what's Island. up, buddy? Let's, let's get some questions going. Okay, let so, me get another question here. Uh, what is the biggest challenge so far in your career? Um, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's one that makes you think. I think the biggest challenge in my career um, is trying to make sure that um, you're trying to, you know, make a profit, you know, and, and um, not, you know, not uh, not do things for free. Um, when you get to when you get better, I think at this, it's like you, you kind of have to start to switch gears where the person that no, nobody that's great gives their work away, yep. you know, and that's like true. And I feel like when people pay for something for your work, that they appreciate it more. And yep. it's been a struggle because, you know, I did a lot of trade work as I grew as a photographer. And now my, you know, my editing procedure and the way that I shoot and all these things, I mean, it ultimately takes time to make those images look like that. I mean, mm -hmm. any image that I edit, and I mean, I'm not the, be the best editor ever, but the idea is it takes between 25 and 45 minutes an image on an average of 30 minutes to 35 you're, minutes You are much drop. faster than me, buddy. You are much <laughs> 30, faster than me. 35 <laughs> minutes a picture, but to make six yeah. pictures, I've got four hours into that. Yep. And now I'm expected to, when you do a trade shoot with a model, they're trading their time for pictures and you're trading your time to shoot. And when the pictures are done, those aren't the pictures that they want or the work that you want to put out. Mm -hmm. You want to yep. put the edited work out and that takes more time. Well, that part of the trade is over. Right. Yep. So to try to get a trade for shoot, I feel like is fair. But then being able to get, um, you know, something for the editing time involved to finish the images is really, um, you know, where I don't mind certain people you trade with and that are going to be able to, you know, lead you in the right direction to get, you know, more people that you can help. And followings right. have a lot to do with trades, I think. And, you know, the, the amount of clout, per se, if somebody can help you grow, then you're more apt to, to work with them for a trade. But then when it starts to change, you know, where there's a there's a good there's a good di diagram there talking about when who, who decides who pays who. And, it, yeah. you know, it's really cool. <laughs> um, I think I like, said that to you, did I? I don't remember. Um, it's really good where it, it, it yeah. really kind of starts to say who pays who in the model photography industry, you know. Um but at the end of the day, I, I just feel like most models that that respect you will pay you a reasonable amount if you're good at what you do. Um, right. 
the models that want everything for free, um, those models will always get that for free. They will. They'll find photographers that will do maybe a, a, a maybe not as good as maybe, maybe they are not as like you, that. but yeah, but they will find, find something it. that's pretty decent, and then they won't use you anymore. But it's it is really cool. Like as things grow, I've got, got a all question. the time to say, Vinny, listen, I want to work with you. I know it's going to cost me. But you know what? I always get my stuff. It always looks good. I never have to worry about waiting on edits or proofs or any of that stuff. And it, it works out. So as you develop, you know, where you have a paying client, you um, you have to get this stuff to them right away and all that. And I feel like sometimes when they do, you know, trade shoots and things like that, um, you know, there's nobody really appreciates the work as much. I, I, I don't think uh, the biggest problem, but, I guess, with the trade shoots is that. Uh, like me right now, if you want fresh material and you keep doing trade shoots, mm -hmm. you can end up with a huge backlog for editing. I have like 40 pictures because I have to edit the ones I like right. and I have to edit the ones the model like. So right. well, it just I think, grows. I think then the other thing too, that the other struggle, I mean, honestly, if I'm being brutally honest here and this is great that it's live. This is I what we want. Is, uh, you know, I'm not really... Um, going you know to be i don't sell content right. so i don't sell my content so that's the reason why i need to be paid for the shoot and then the girl mm -hmm. can use the content how she wants and and i feel like um i i, I think that i need to be to be com competing with some of these other you know amazing photographers is that it's something that i have to really decide if i'm going to start you know like a like an only fans based website or something <laughs> to share to share content that You, you know, mean I what models are shoot. doing? Well, I, I normally wouldn't shoot this yeah. particular content, but um, it's one of those things where I don't want to be forced to do it because it's a way for me to generate revenue. I'd rather just be paid for my sexy kind of pushing it to the edge, but not, you know, creating soft core porn. That's not my goal. Right. You know, exactly. my goal has always been to, to uh, have a, have women on a, on a, on a pedestal. And mm -hmm. what is, what is happening with some of this stuff is you're taking, you know, classy girls and over time, you know, making it to where, you know, everybody is seeing just every ounce of everything and there's nothing left to the imagination and it gets exactly. pushing it more and more further into, you know, the, you know, very erotic stuff that typically um, was more cherished before. And I feel like there, I don't know, I feel like there's gonna, it's gonna max out at some point. There's gonna be something that, you know, everybody's showing everything and then you get certain girls out there that are making a hundred thousand dollars a month that don't even that aren't even topless yep so it's like exactly girls that are that are that are having to show everything to make three thousand four thousand dollars a month but then you get the girls that started before <laughs> it started getting driven down to do more and more and more those girls establish themselves and they don't need to to exactly. show any parts you know what i'm saying yep um, no i know exactly what you're this, saying this is, this is the big struggle with the The, the model, uh, you know, the, the, the glamour, the photography, the lingerie, the, you know, the implied stuff is that it's getting to the point where I, I probably aren't, I'm not going to stand, be around for it to, it to go where it is. And I'll probably just continue to stick to my style with what I do. And I push it to the limit, but I don't, you know, cross it. And I take it to, you know, a, as sexy as I can um, to where it's implied, you know, mm -hmm. and, and I uh -huh. keep it as tasteful typically as I can. I mean, a lot right. of some girls want a lot of things that, typically I wouldn't normally shoot, but they want it because they know they can profit off of it. And I don't want to say no, um, you know, because I don't want to upset anybody or establish a bad name for myself as, oh, he's just too shy to shoot this yeah, way, that way. It's and not always stuff. only about you. That's the point. Sometimes well, you, you know, have to it just you know, I, give I have, what uh, they want. Yeah, I just, I try to keep it to a, I try to keep it pretty classy. I mean, I know some of my stuff pushes the envelope, but, you know, I don't know. It is what it is, you know, and I'm trying to keep everybody interested. I'm trying to, uh, You know, trying to grow as a photographer. Oh, I really you, hope that you I, just did NPC, right? Well, and that's that's what I'm getting at here is that uh, you know, by accident, um, well, not not accident. I don't know. I I had a I'm gonna mention him. He's a the Daytona Beach Classic, right? Uh, Mike. He's a, an amazing guy. He he reached out to me on Instagram. He's like, man, I really like your work. Uh, he's like, mm -hmm. you know, we're in the bodybuilding industry, but your color and the way your images look, it's like just different than what other people do. I'm like, I don't know, man, it's just my thing. And he's right. like, uh, well, would you be willing to like come set like a white backdrop up at the Daytona Beach Classic in Daytona? Which should have been black, by the way. And, What's that? It should have been black, but okay. 
Uh, I, I had the back, the black one up first, but I didn't have a steamer to get the wrinkles out of it. No. And the white, I okay. could make look better than the black. Sure. So we, that was the we reason. We have a question that. from Angel in the chat room. Uh, for how long uh, have you been into the photography in a more serious way? Uh, let's say when you started with that crop sensor and for how long have you been a pro? Okay. So I, um, I shot with my crop sensor camera for like two years and then, um, I got my D850, um, I guess about two and a half years ago. So I, I don't know, man, I, I don't even, it's crazy to even talk about like professional photographer, like. I mean, I know we're hard on ourselves, but it's like, yeah, I've been in like some magazines and like I've done some stuff or whatever, but I still feel like I, I don't know. I got so much to learn and I'm so learning so many things. I'm like, man, I don't even know if I'm like pro. But it's an always now. learning thing, right? I mean, we're always That's learning. Important. It doesn't matter I just, when. I, I see things a certain way, um, right. you know, and I like, I like a certain style, mm -hmm. but then like, and I, I, I don't know. I know how to frame things up and shoot like pretty much anything. But then like when I see some of the people that inspire me. I like now talk know, about like, that. Who who inspires Vidi? Give um, me some names. I mean, come on, man. There's a uh, Vincent Pierce. You yeah. Know, who, okay. Vincent Vidi, Pierce is Vincent like uh, this guy is like the most freaking humble dude ever. You know, yes, like he, he is. befriended me and like was always nice to me and always like got back to me. Three hundred thousand followers. I had like twenty five hundred, <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, bro." dude like yeah you just need to keep doing this and this and this and i'm like what the fuck? like i'm sorry like what what the, this, is <laughs> this guy is like being nice to me you know and right I'm like he's not supposed to be nice to me like he's got 300 something thousand followers well <laughs> little did you know like time went by and i started getting getting better at what i did and things like that sure and one day like he started following me and i was like that's crazy this is crazy <laughs> and um Then, um, you know, I follow a lot of guys that shoot kind of like what I shoot. I got another guy. His, his, uh, his name is uh, Carlos, and his, uh, his wife has a bikini uh, company. She, uh, she's amazing, and she, uh, he basically started shooting uh, to shoot for her apparel company, mm -hmm. and he got really good at photography in a real quick time, just like me, and we have very similar styles. His Instagram is top dog – I'm sorry, top dog photo, and wow. – uh, His his wife is uh, Michelle um, from Michi Bikinis, M I C H I Bikinis, and they That's just hit the four. Name. I was trying to figure four, out that name. Yeah, they just hit four hundred thousand followers on Michi Bikinis. So congratulations to them. That's amazing. Congratulations, you know? yeah, that's great. Yeah. yeah. So my buddy uh, Carlos, he he uh, he's like, hey man, I got you know I got this deal for you. We just were chat here and there on Instagram about stuff and lighting a little bit here and there, and we just became buddies and. He's like, hey, man, you need to get hooked up with a, a couple friends of mine. And um, they're, they're, you know, we're going to, you know, you might be able to go to Costa Rica with us. And it was crazy. I, I, uh, I got a message from this guy, Jeff Black, and he, he and uh, uh, George Small. And they uh, uh, basically, they have a, a, a company that's uh, basically a, a, an entertainment world. And right. they, they, they let us go out to Costa Rica. And I was chosen out of like maybe 10 or 11 photographers to go work with like 30 or 40 of, you know, some of the most popular models in the world. And, and that's where I got to meet Vincent Pierce and me and him got to shoot and hang out together a little bit. I got to see his style a little bit here and there. And it was crazy. I'll never forget this. And this is a really cool story is because like when, when I was getting on the plane, leaving Costa Rica after I hung out with Carlos and all this work, and we all had a great time, produced a lot of content and uh, made a lot of good friends. Um, I was getting on the plane, I was leaving and I opened my Instagram and looked at my messages before I was, the plane was getting ready to take off. And there was a me message there from Vincent Pierce. He goes, Hey buddy, um, what kind of soft boxes do you use? <laughs> you don't <laughs> use soft boxes. That's the funny part. And I, I, uh, or what kind of soft boxes or what kind of reflectors? I don't, I don't, one of those two. And I yeah. was like, I was first, I like, after I like, like, I was like, you gotta, what, you gotta be kidding. What? You want to know what Vincent Pierce, you want to know what dude? Right. Like, I sent him the link on like uh, B and H photo and hobby or photo and uh, or Adorama, one of the two. And I use a 28 inch. Um, right. What is it? Uh, I can't remember the brand name of it. Photo tech. 
28 inch uh, octagon white interior. Um, it's the retractable kind. It's the foldable one. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's called a. Uh, is is it Phototech? Hold on one second. I, can, I have it right here. Of course you. Impact. Can. Impact makes it. Impact. Yep, that's it. And they're great. Like I like them. I use uh, you know, Flashpoint 600, uh, the Pro Strobes. I like the bigger ones, the uh, the Pro Strobes, the 600 watt. And now I got, uh, I use, I have three of those and I have Ooh. seven batteries. Um, so it's nice to have that versatility with, you know, having been able to shoot like a oh. lot of power all at once, you know, but Strobes anyway, swift batteries. I'm I love my shows with batteries. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's all I use. I you know, could so. kill someone to have a few of those. Yeah. So let me ask you something. If you had one piece of advice that you can give these beginners or intermediate individuals that want to get into photography. What one piece of advice would you give them? Um, I don't know. Learn your style as quick as possible. And I mean, I think it's cool for people to switch things up, but like, I feel like it's good to just dominate in one thing. Yeah. Like, like, I feel like when you, when you look at my images, like, and everybody looks at my page, like this guy likes it bright. I'm right. not trying to make it look like it does when you see it. Uh -huh. So people, different photographers will say you overexposed that or whatever. I'm like, no, I didn't. I said, That's she's, your not, finger she's, print. Not over, she's not overexposed. She's bright, but mm -hmm. it makes her eyelashes pop. It makes her, her eyes look incredible, right? It makes this, this color and this vibrancy that's, I, I love that, right? Like, that's what I love. Now, you know, I, everybody's got different stuff, you know? Um, I got a, 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 my buddy, uh, Josh Triggs. He is one of the best photographers I've ever seen in my life. Josh Triggs. Um, on, yep. It's 3MI photo, I think, on Instagram. 3MI. It, he is, like, my idol. This guy. So, like, he's got an amazing studio. And uh, his lighting concepts change so dramatically. He'll, he's so ver diverse. And that's what I want to learn how to do. Like, I want to see things um, differently where, you know, I don't have a studio. So, it's... I, I shoot on location a lot, so it's I don't get to practice all the time. Like I really, right. I'm decent at what I do. Like the the look that I do, I'm good at. But I want to get better with other looks that I don't. You know, like if you put a if you had a, a completely dark room and you put a light in the back corner and you put a model on a back black drop and you wanted to just show, you know like shoot like some artistic nude stuff where you know you just have some lights hitting the edges of the body. That's the kind of stuff that I don't know. Like I wish I knew. Mm -hmm. And I'd have to, I could figure it out, but I don't have, so, you know, when you're shooting, you don't have time to screw around. Right. So you got to shoot. Sure. So I, that's some of the things that like when he does his things where he does things completely different. Uh, if you look at his page, it's just great to see on how many different things he's able to do or achieve. His um, versatility. Creativity. He just posted this picture like for Halloween and it, it'll blow your mind at what he did. Like there's skulls and it's, it's blood. I mean, it's like, I'm like, dude, this is awesome. Like how, and if that's the thing, like creativity, you know, that's, I would tell these guys to keep it creative, try to have little themes here and there. If you're shooting models, put something in her hand occasionally, you know, right. like a, a water gun or uh, I don't know, a Frisbee or just whatever you can think Any of. kind of props. It, make it a little different, you know. Right. Um, don't keep, shoot the same thing twice. Well, that's freaking impossible Ooh. for me to do. <laughs> because like I, you know, and I, I think we all struggle with it, right? We're all yeah, we, we do. Know what works? I ain't gonna right? lie, we, know, we do. We know what works, and like yep. you know, I, I got a good, I got a couple of buddies of mine that you know, you know, you met Roger, Roger yep. Lister, right. good guy, right? Yep. Oh yeah, awesome yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah. R W Photography. He's a, he's a great Roger. R W is not man. He's awesome. Yeah, he's a great guy. And yep. you know, like I yelled at him one day, like I'm like, bro, <laughs> you got to stop shooting the red couch. <laughs> like, dude, but everybody wants to be on the red couch. Everybody like, wants the red couch. Yeah, I remember that. I'm like, bro, let's get a freaking blue cover for it. And make it a blue couch. And uh, you know, so sometimes we need that. You know, and I listen. Like anybody that's like, that's like watching us, right? And like right. wants to criticize my work. I love that. Okay, like go to my Instagram, comment on the picture, tell me what I should have done differently. I know you love me. I, I, I know agree. It. You know, at the end of the day, I want to be better at what I do. Right. I, 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 you don't get a lot of photographers that will give constructive criticism because they right. don't want you to be better than them. I encourage it. 
You know, yeah, like, I, we're all going to create something different. If there was a model, we all three of us would shoot the model completely different. Completely yep. different. Completely 100%. different. 100%. You know? I yep. feel like, it, but the thing is, is like, what I don't like to do is I don't really like to shoot with photographers around because I don't want to change the way that they're going to shoot something because they see yeah. me. Because I know I've done that. I, I have. have I think all of us have. With... There's no way yeah. you don't get influenced by another photographer that is shooting right. by your side. You know, you're going to see, see him do it and you're going to try but it. But now, see, there's also the other side where I could try doing what you're doing, but it's never going to be exactly what you're doing because you're you. Now, I could utilize that and maneuver it a little different to be my fingerprint. So everybody's fingerprint yeah. is a little different. Yeah, it's really, really interesting to see. And I, and I like I yeah. said, the, the more opportunity I have to work with photographers, I absolutely love it. You know, I just I got it. back from Las yep. Vegas and I got to work. Um, I got to work for uh, Michael Sertan. Um, okay. he, uh, he invited me to come out for his birthday party and uh, work with like some amazing talented people. And I was shooting these two girls in this, uh, like this hot tub. And I don't remember the, the guy's name was Keith, but I don't remember his name of his photography, but he started the two girls were posing at one time, which all photographers know it's hard enough to post one model, try yes. to make two. <laughs> and then like my shooting style is a lot different than other photographers. I shoot very posed, sure. which I know is wrong. And this is a, this is a good story. I love this. I'm sorry. Is it okay if we keep talking about this? Yeah, yeah go for it. it. Okay, this so is like, your show. I'm, yeah, yeah, man, it's cool. <laughs> I love this, man. I, I love it. So, uh, hopefully, you guys will have me as, on as much as I can be. I'd love it. Oh, so, for sure. But what I what I was doing was I was I was working with these girls, and and it was fairly fairly pretty good. Like we were doing pretty good. And this guy walks up and he's like, "Hey, man, if you move this girl's butt this way, and then move that girl there, and then do this like this," and I was like, "Uh, it, like for a split second, I was like." man, don't tell me what to do, bro. You know, blah, blah. I didn't say that. out loud. <laughs> but then I thought to myself, I was like, this is not the person I want to be. So I was like, I was like, you are right. And that's, and I, and I, I listened to what he said. I, I, I embraced it. I let him make the changes. I opened my eyes and observed what he did. And I agreed with what he did. And then no sooner. And I feel like I'm a decent photographer. And like, I, you know, like I learned something like I loved it, lo loved learning what I did. You know, I love learning what I learned. Right. And, then the model, um, the girl, this girl, her name is Gina. And uh, you guys, if you start following me, you'll see a lot of the work that we did. She's ridiculous. Sure. You guys are going to want to see what I'm posting here in a little bit. Was that but, your latest uh, one? Uh, no, no, no. Um, I worked with, uh, I think, 12 or 13 girls that day. This was one of them and okay. at the Vegas event. I haven't done any of those edits yet. I Literally yesterday gotcha. was the first day I got the proofs to the girls because I've been getting ready for bike week and got back from Vegas and was slammed at my main focus um, and just busy, busy, busy. So anyway, I just got these pictures to the girls for them to proof it off. But Gina was the girl that I was working with. And the other girl, um, her name is Ella. And, uh, these two girls were the girls that I was shooting and she basically, she loved what I did. And then she's like, Hey, listen, let's go back over that really quick. And we're going to shoot with you not telling us anything. She said, let us know when you're focused and we're going to, we're going to move. And it was really ridiculous. Yeah. I, I cool. just letting them move as to what I was able to capture. I agree. The problem is, is that I work. Sometimes I work with a lot of girls that are just learning and, and just, right. and that's why I developed my style of shooting where I pose people more or right. it, if the girl knows what she's doing, then I'll just tweak her pose to where it's really curvy. Right. Or, right. you know, like she really over accentuates pushing her butt back and like trying to bend the small of the back to get as much curve as possible. That is, that is really, and most models that are experienced will appreciate it if you actually do it. Right. Um, models that I've had models not like that at all. They don't want to be told what to do. And that's sure. only happened a few times. Most people are receptive to trying to make the best image well, possible. That's you know? the difference between professional and non professional, in my opinion. Yeah. You know, if people aren't open to listen, I mean, I had one girl, I remember when I was shooting. Where was I? In Tennessee. Um, one of the girls, she couldn't figure out the pose. So she actually practiced it that night. And then the next day said, hey, can we try that again? I was like, that's, yeah, sure. And, well, you know, let's, you know and, I think, and I think as much about to the, the way you bound with the subject before the shoot. Right. The way you, you, you. Oh, I mean, they've got to wholeheartedly trust you for the sure. You sure. know, it is what it is. 100%. Absolutely. You know, and it's like going back to posing, like, 
I, I worked with, uh, I'll, this kind of comes to mind, uh, Miss Lenny Marie. Um, <clears throat> Miss Lenny Marie on Instagram. She's got a little over 1.2 million followers, 1.4 million followers. Oh, she man. might be one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life. And I got to meet, meet her in Costa Rica uh, when I was working at the Entertainment World event. And it was a late night. I had three strobes set up in a pool area because it was dark. The photographer was kind of wrapped up. And I was doing things with light that people were like, what the heck are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. I was like, I don't know. I just got a third strobe and I'm going to work it. So I'm having fun. Strobes. Yeah. Man. So, <laughs> so with, I didn't know who the person was. And I was working with Kayla Moody at the time. And oh, then Kayla. Miss Lenny got there, Miss Lenny yeah. Marie. And uh, she is a, an, a, a, Kayla is absolutely amazing model. Yeah. And uh, we, I was working with her and we were finishing our setup and uh, Miss Lenny's there and, we're going back to uh, what, what I'm getting at is the posing model thing and talking to models and telling them how to pose and things like that. Kayla was, is a, you know, as you know, million followers. And I was doing with her, I was saying, Hey, listen, let's, let's do this way. Let's roll your, and you can look at these last few posts on my Instagram. Uh, I just posted uh, maybe a few, a little while ago, or like, you know, like five, six, eight posts ago, this miss Lenny or uh, not miss Lenny, but uh, the stuff with Kayla. And you can see some of that on my, on my Instagram. But you'll see what I mean. Like the poses are incredible, and it's really amazing having a model that's, uh, you know, very fluent with with modeling. And then you actually tweak that pose a little bit; it creates greatness. So that's that's what happened. Anyway, when I was done shooting with Kayla, uh, Miss Lenny was like, you know, like yeah, you. I was like, you oh, you want to shoot with me? And she's like, absolutely, I would love to. And I'm like, oh my god, this this girl's got 1.4, 1.5 million followers, and she's gonna like let me work with her. I I got I, I couldn't believe it. And it was really cool because um, I, I, I started working with her. I had all these lights going off and like people were watching. I got some really cool behind the scenes stuff with it. So I, I did a post on, on Instagram a while back with like a really cool behind the scenes of me shooting these models for that event. Um, it's really cool to check it out because you can see like Miss Lenny is like an epitome of model. She's amazing, amazing, amazing. And then there's a few poses there that we tweaked and we got a little bit, a little bit nicer um, cause she knows what she's doing. And then I would kind of angle it a little bit to get it a little bit more curvy. And, you know, she loved the images and loved the work that we did. So it was pretty cool that we were able to create that, you know, we are oh, bringing yeah. your Instagram again, and I will use this space to read a few comments. Uh, I will not put on the screen angel because it's too much text to cover everyone, but uh, he said that he gets frustrated yeah, those because right that, those are pretty cool too. Like, because um, he's not always happy with his work. And even when he gets few shots that he likes, after some time, he starts to see flaws on it. And he gets kind of frustrated. Buddy, I'll tell you one thing. I think that happens to everyone. Everybody. What was, no... his, what was his custom again? He gets frustrated with himself. Why? He gets frustrated because he's not 100% happy with his work. Sometimes he gets some shots that he really get proud of it. But after some time looking to it, he starts to see the flaws. And he gets frustrated again. Oh, my God, bro. Listen, man. Listen, we can <laughs> criticize ourselves all day long. All day. That ain't going to make you a better photographer. At some time, like, look, look, go up a little bit. Go to that. Go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Slow, 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 slow. Just keep going down, 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 down. Stop right there. Okay, <laughs> on the right photo in the middle. That's Kayla right there. Okay, if you guys look at that right photo in the middle, this flaw on this one could be perceived as the shadow that's on her right arm and her leg like that. But... Why does that even really matter? Like, it's a great shot. It's pretty nice. The sky is good. It's framed up pretty decent, right? I mean, mm. yeah, the shadow on her inner thigh being there. I don't, uh, I don't see shadows as flaw. Even in the backdrop, I, 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 it doesn't bother me, you know? It doesn't, right? But some people might perceive that as well. You could have had a maybe. A, I was Look. using. I don't remember what was going on there, but it was oh. like. A, Let's not let's not advertise another <laughs> person by mistake. <laughs> yeah, okay. Those, guys, those guys are cool, man. They're they're good guys. It's live. So yeah, right. that's a, see, look at this right here. That's that's her getting creative, and me just like letting her do what she wants. And then right. um, this one here, I think I said butt up on it, and there's a shot where her, you know, I I think I cropped this one down, but I don't remember because you know how Instagram is. You can't post the, sometimes the whole image like you like it to look, you know. Yeah. But, uh, uh, don't tell me! Don't tell me about Instagram. I have all all my posts <laughs> shadow banned. Oh no! Yeah, it's there's a science behind that. I I uh, I know that there's a lot I should be doing with Instagram, but I just kind of literally just throw my stuff up there. I've been gracious. I'm almost at a hundred thousand followers. I can't wait yeah. to get there. I hope to God I 
Uh, I'd love to have people comment what I should do for my 100,000 posts, what I should do as far as mm. the shoot goes. That's a good That's, one. I'd love to know what anybody would want to see, and i try to oh, create Oh, I that. like that series with the pink dress. Thank you so much. I'll oh, use it in the yeah. promo. I love it. That's funny. I actually, I wish I could get you a picture of that. I have it in the, uh, the one where she's sitting on the rock. We just had it printed, or print it, uh, a company print it for us. 33 inches by 50 inches and it's in my wow. on my wall in my my living room if you're you talking back, about this one that, one that one there where she's looking away yeah. that's probably my favorite picture i've ever taken in my life right there oh so yeah. I, I just that's one of right, my favorites the right set i really love this picture I, I and just... by the way by the way that's his wife yeah um fiance we're, we're, we are we are we are hoping to get our our wedding here shortly but uh, we have been engaged for I'm taking too long, and we're trying to get some things out of the way before uh -huh. we make the actual wedding happen. But it's the reason why I'm trying to push you. Oh no, no, no! I get it. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Now that was well, this is a really cool picture. So, like the the, the deal with this was, um, we, Jolene wanted to do something with the with the really pink dress, like the you know the Santorini parachute Greece type pictures dress. where where people yeah. shoot in Greece and they have the the dress blowing in the wind, you know. Uh -huh. yep. So she had that vision, and we were going on. This is a carnival cruise that we were on. It ported in in um, Bermuda for thirty hours. So uh, is that a parachute, up, or is that no? Just it's fabric. Dress My, fabric. It's fabric. Oh. She got. She found the the, the, the dress portion um, of it on Amazon, and my mom made the uh, the, uh, the the twelve foot train for it. Okay. So the, it's uh -huh. two pieces. So because we were on the cruise, you know, and to try to transport it. So there are some other images of this post. Uh, how did post. you match the colors? They or got match lucky, you know. Um, they got she got really lucky to find the material that was really close to the dress, and you know, you can't really see that it's a shade off or here and there because yeah, of the way the light it is. Looks good. This was a really hard shot to achieve, actually, guys. This this is uh, one o one over one power, an f two point eight. Um, I want to say the shutter speed was probably like one over twelve, or probably twelve hundred or so. Um, it looks ISO like about. Was, I, was ISO that, was is like that like twelve o'clock, one o'clock? Then this was like twelve o'clock or one o'clock, and this is really yep. interesting for people to think. Like a lot of photographers have a problem shooting midday. I love it. I love okay? it. Like yeah. I, I shoot with enough power to blow. Oh, the with a six hundred, you can do it. I did it with two six hundred. <laughs> that, that's what this took. One over yep. one, and there was two six hundreds with twenty eight inch beauty dishes left and right. And they were as close as they could be, the two people that were holding the lights for me. Because, I, I, you know, the reason why, if you look at, if it wasn't noon or like 1 o'clock, you wouldn't have all the edges on the, on the, on the ocean. You see how mm -hmm. all those little shiny spots on the, on the waves yep. are? Yep. All these areas. If it, was, if it was like later in the afternoon, I mean, not, you know what I'm saying. You're not like, going to see it. Yeah. You're not going to see it. You're not going to get the reflection. I, I feel like that's what really made this image just captivating is that, I don't know, I just, I, I, I don't know. It is what it is. You guys can call me crazy, but I freaking think that this pink dress with the, Bermuda was the most amazing place I've ever been in my life to shoot at, for sure. I, um, it's, I guess that's hard to say. Upstate New York was really amazing, too. But we Bermuda have another sure. question from Angel. Uh, any recommendations on book or other, other material, material to learn how to pose your model? Listen, brother, I think no, that that, is that's a good question. That's a good that's question because this is hard. You know, yeah. this is really hard. At, at the end of the day, to me, and I think 90% of the photographers out there, I think posing is the, the hardest thing to make sure that you're affluent with. And, and you know, there's there's just certain people out there that can pull it off right away, and they're just amazing at it. And that's that's where skill with photography comes to play. You know, these, these photographers that are... Um, that's just amazing. Like there's a buddy of mine out there. His name's mad creativity. And, um, his, he, his name is Alfonso. If you guys go follow mad creativity on Instagram, this guy is a master with poses. Okay. I saw him work in an event and it was crazy to see on how he can just manipulate the image so quickly and so fluently. It's, it was amazing. I love it. And, and it just, he's a great guy. He was always a great mentor for me. I have not talked to him in a while, but it's a great person um Al alfonso and um he is the did they uh, spell it right of, of, of what mad creativity there you go if you guys check it out take a look at his instagram or pull it up real quick you'll see the diversity in his images is crazy and the way that he like poses so this guy angel that's asking a question i would definitely tell him to follow him uh follow uh vincent pierce um he, he's great with you know that kind of stuff follow some of the you know some of these 
you know, some of the best photographers uh, out there and you'll, you'll start learning how they bend the body up, you know? Uh, this is, yeah, this is definitely uh, Alfonso's work. And, they uh, always talk about uh, uh, curves and triangles. S curves. Can you can you guys see? Look at how diverse he is in all of his images. Oh yeah. He's so so talented. Like I I, I love this guy to death. He's a good guy. Um, I love his work. I hope he doesn't get mad at me for mentioning him. <laughs> oh, well, he just yeah. got free publicity. <laughs> He's a great guy. Like he very creative. You'll, you'll, he is truly, um, he, you know creative uh what he does too oh yeah so yeah so uh, hopefully that answered angel's question oh what All else right. can we talk about guys okay so, let me get i have a we have a list <laughs> yeah we got a big uh, list people there is one that i i uh let me find here oh this one uh, i particularly think it, uh, is really interesting Tell the viewers uh, and us, of course, how did you get your first client and what was the experience, good or bad? Um, first client was, uh, it was a referral from a person that I did some Bidouar shooting with and it was great. Um, she wanted to do like some just casual stuff at her apartment complex. We did uh -huh. some stuff with natural light. That's before I shot with strobes. Yeah. And because after, were... after you get the taste for strobes, you can never come back. And I, 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 I will go, I will be the guy at a car show that's walking around with two strobes on my shoulder. Uh, I'm, I'm right behind you. You know that. You know? I mean, I got this wagon now that I love mm -hmm. and I can carry like my strobes in it, like a bag with outfits. Do you get a cooler a, with some drinks. Do you get one of those Walmart can... wagons? Yep. Yeah. I love that thing. So, hey, Hanato, good, good evening. So, sorry. What that. is Vidi looking to do going forward from here? Like, what is something that you really want people to know about? Well, I mean, I definitely, I definitely want uh, more fitness clients, people that are focused on the health mm -hmm. industry, and they want pictures with chiseled abs, or they are, uh, you know, uh, they want to do something in a gym that's ridiculous. Like, say they're training. Right triceps and abs that day and i want to go in with three lights and some glycerine and some water droplets and throw it on their abs and make it look ridiculous like I, that's the kind of client i want right now i want i want a client that has taken fitness shots before like before a contest or one of the you know the fitness shows and they weren't happy with with uh the results of it and they want to do something different uh yeah. i i i need uh people to reach out to me for that um and if you, you know, want to reach out to him, so it's me, iCandy dot com. Uh, you don't need it. I'm just iCandy kidding. imagery. iCandy image. That's okay, man. It's okay. No, it's I mean, the thing here. Is, there it is. It's showing up on the screen. Yeah. iCandy imagery. Candy imagery dot com. Or, you know, Instagram's yep. good. And then the thing is, is like uh, basically just making sure that um, you know they know that it's a little different. You know, I want right. I want people to know that I'm going to do something cool. Uh, with with light, you know, and that's mm -hmm. that's really what I'm after. Where they just, you know, they don't want just a regular picture, you know. They want something that's amazing and I meet, mean, um, you know, almost medium format. I'm shooting at almost 50 megapixels, so they'll right. have something that it's just a stupid, crazy detail. And that's what fitness people train for is yep. to is to focus on every striation in the muscle and this and that and perfection. Um, you know, so I definitely yep. uh, that's one of the main focuses. I'm sorry to go on about that so much. Oh, that's cool. So if you are interested in doing fitness shots, just call Vinny. Yeah, you I mean, do don't get me wrong. I still I still want to do swimwear and lingerie and, and all that <laughs> stuff. And I, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for doing some short shorts and some boots and crop top out in the middle of the woods, you know, on a side 100%. by side. Yeah, so I mean, sunset, you know, with short shorts and, you know, yep. is, a, is a cool thing. And I, I live out in the uh, country in uh, West Orlando, uh, about 20 minutes from Disney. So... Uh, I, we got some really cool fields and stuff like that, that I shoot a lot of that stuff in. And it's really cool to see the sun go down with a, you know, kind of a country girl theme a bit, you know, in a main. So, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's a good try for the twang, but all right. Yeah. Well, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just got to work on it. Got to keep working on it. You know, well, anyway, I think, we're, at it. I think we're at the end and I really want to thank you a lot for coming on. Uh, 
I think a lot of people learn something about Vinny. Um, and they also learn something in general. Cause I mean, you, you talk a lot, a I'm lot of stuff. Man. No, it's all good. Cause everybody oh, can rewind it, was, it, watch it again, whatever. Honestly, uh, it was amazing. You were, we were such a, uh, uh, Nice oh. person to talk to. Please yeah. tell me more. Tell me more. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> it and was he's got amazing those to dimples. Have you. Those dimples make you oh. just kind of go, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, anyway, yeah. Uh, everybody watching, thank you for staying with us. You know, Vinny's a perfect person to get to know. If y'all have any I'm questions, good. check out his Instagram. That's at iCandyImagery dot. IK the imagery on Instagram, uh, Facebook also, I believe. Yeah, I can't remember. It's E Y E C A N D Y, not I like iPhone. So sometimes right. people make that mistake. So yeah, that's true. And uh, you know, again, next week we have another big show. Uh, we're talking about COVID. And by the way, you had COVID. I did. Did you? I did. Yes. Yeah, I had it right uh, when it started. I had it for like. Uh, I don't know, about 14 days or something like that. And how you feel now? Great. You know, I think that anybody that is suspected that they might have COVID, um, I had a fever for really bad for the first day and a half, two days. And I lost all sense of taste and smell for two months or probably. That's what happened. And that's, that's what I, I tested negative twice about 15 to 18 days after I had COVID. And I haven't had an issue with it since so. or anything like that, but it's one of those things where, yeah, um, it's it's definitely uh, eye awakening, you know. But I don't right. think, um, it, it, I don't know. I'm not saying to run around and you know spread germs, but I, I don't know. I think right. it's being a little bit blown out of proportion, to be honest with you. Well, that's what's cool about this next show that we have. The next show is actually going to be about COVID, and it's going to be with a nurse. And I think you know Kate. Uh, Kate is she was at IBMS. Okay. Kate the Deposo and the model. Yeah, you know, like we should uh yeah, it's it's I, I don't remember who she is, but I, I definitely am gonna be watching the show for sure. I love this. She she's the one that uh that I had the cowboy outfit in in uh where was I? I was in the Smoky Mountains. What's remember her that Instagram kid? name? Uh I wanna say Summer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ross. Yeah, Summer Ross. Yes, yes. And, she's uh, super awesome. Did you guys see the work that I did with her? Yes. Trust me. I always see it. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but she's also a nurse, a full-time ER nurse. Yeah, she's and, a super sweet person, man. Oh, my gosh. And yeah. her husband is a big-time doctor also. So we're going to have both of them on the next show, which is going to be all about COVID, and we're going to try to discuss – what photographers can actually do to make sure we stay safe and models from her sure. side. She can talk about the models. So I think that's going to be a great show next, next week. Oh, I, I love it, man. I love where it's going. Great ideas. It's awesome. Well, guys. You got to keep doing this. Got to keep it going. Well, we hope it. So, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. Hey man, we appreciate your time. Thank and, you guys uh, so much, man. I appreciate you guys. Yeah. Thank and, you, Vinny. I just love it to talk to you. I love your work right. and we're going to bring you next time again. We're going to so call grateful. you again, and you're going to come talk to Thank us again because it looks like the time was not big enough for us to ask everything know, right? that we wanted. <laughs> uh, 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 and it was such an easy talk. was such uh, – uh, uh, it, But that's Vitty. fluid. We know? all know Vitty's that, that smooth talker. You know, uh, <laughs> somebody said maybe one day that I had to gift a gab. I don't know what that means, though. You know what I mean? So. You don't know when you know it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Well – you guys take it easy, okay? Yeah, you too, man. And, too, man. And have fun out there. All right, man. All right. Take it easy. You too. Uh, All right. So everybody got to meet Vinny. That was Vinny Rago. Amazing and person. Amazing. Super, super nice guy. Um, yeah. He also does have a little uh, event that he puts on every now and then, and it's called I Candy Photo Camp. Yeah, so photo, photo camp. If somebody, photo camp. if somebody is interested in that, that'd be something else. And uh, thanks everyone for showing up uh, again. We're doing this like a talk show. It's basically like we're sitting in our own houses or sitting on the couch talking, and we just want you guys to hear some of what we're doing. And hopefully, 
people are liking it. Uh, it's definitely something that's different. Uh, we don't want to do all the whole, you know, oh, we're going to show this, show that. We want people to actually get real advice, yeah. real things coming from people. From uh, real people, people are in who's the field. in the real market, you know. Right. Who's out there. And yep. uh, if there are any questions or if anybody does have any questions, send it to us on our Facebook page. We have uh, the Photo Talk Show is on Facebook. Yeah, you can always send page. us questions there. Uh, we have the... What else do we have? And if you have questions for our next show, so yeah. we can ask the doctor and the nurse's model, just leave us uh, on the on our Facebook page, so we can already prepare to ask them. Yeah, I mean we we're here for you, and we're also here exactly. kind of for us. So, you know, we're also learning. I mean, I've been doing it since 1997, and I'm still learning. I mean, it's now just. I have a question for you, Rome. Yeah, what's up? Do you think we are? Less nervous than the first time. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Yeah, I, I'm actually calm now. I yeah, mean, it was now, much easier. Yeah, it, this is this ain't so bad now. The first one, I think I was nervous as hell, but this <laughs> one, too. this was fine. But anyway, okay. so that's us. We'll see you next week, guys. We'll see you next week, next Thursday, six p.m. Central. Exactly. Bye bye.